Ladies and gentlemen, the wine is Amar. Today we're discussing about Beaujolais. So when we're discussing about Beaujolais, we must divide the Beaujolais into three categories. Beaujolais from the Beaujolais region in France will be divided to Beaujolais, Beaujolais village, Beaujolais cru. The Beaujolais cru is part of the Beaujolais village and consists of ten areas. Let me just show you the map here. So as you can see the ten areas from the Beaujolais Cru are the Florier, Saint-Amand, Julien, Morgan, Moulin Avant, Bruilly, Côte de Bruilly, Chirouble, Rignet and Chena. So when we see a bottle of Beaujolais the grape here will be the Camay grape. This is a light skinned grape. Uh, Beaujolais will be 100% Camay. This wine variety is a light skinned grape that produces wine with very soft, maybe even non-existent existed tannins, medium acidity, and overall just a light pleasant wine. Beaujolais has a bad reputation and this is mostly due to the 80s and 90s where the production of these bottles were in big quantities and the quality was not that good so they would produce wine and just put it place it into the market in large amounts not focusing on quality but quantity now how did this all start actually to celebrate the end of the harvest season fresh wine was enjoyed by vineyard workers and this mostly was in the Lyon region of France so Beaujolais is to be released every third Thursday of November so it's kind of a tradition in the Beaujolais area we have also the Beaujolais Nouveau, which is a wine that must be consumed within six months top. So Beaujolais is mostly enjoyed, and I'm talking about Beaujolais Nouveau, because we have a bottle of Beaujolais Nouveau with us today. So it's mostly enjoyed while it's young, now in opposition to Beaujolais Cru. Beaujolais Nouveau is more affordable does not have aging potential so it's enjoyed while it's young and uh, has a more light character to it it also resembles some people say fruit juice so Beaujolais is known as the first wine released every year it may have a bad reputation to it but this does not mean that the wine is not drinkable or is bad usually the Beaujolais bottles will have like a colorful design to it so the label will be consisted of different colors so enough said let's enjoy this wine we have with us today the producer is Chateau de Longue de Tour this is a 100% Camay grape as every Beaujolais is it's a Beaujolais Nouveau and the year is 2022, so the younger the better for Beaujolais. For Beaujolais Cru, sometimes we can follow aging. Uh, it does have an aging potential to it. But with Beaujolais Nouveau, we have to drink it six months top. So the younger the better. I have poured some wine here. I'm gonna put a bit more. And let's analyze this Beaujolais. Already I can smell, I can get like a fruity sensation just from pouring the wine. Let's see. So, on the eye here, vision wise, very bright, very elegant. It seems quite light for a red wine. No, I like the way it has not lost color. 
and it seems very young. Let's give it a sniff. Fruity straight away. A little bit of banana. A little bit of plum. I'm getting fruits. Uh, what else? Let's see. Let's try and find something else apart from fruit. A little bit like toast. A little bit of bubble gum. Let's give it a taste. Okay, so it's very mellow. No tannins here. Very maybe like silky soft, but no tannins on the mouth. High acidity. Uh, it is light bodied wine. So the body is very light, medium to light, I would say. Okay, so it is very fruity. It is very acidic. Not much to say here. I mean, Bojolet is pretty much, Bojolet in the voice pretty much the same every time I try it out. It has the same character to it. So it's a fruity wine, very light to be enjoyed more for the tradition and the celebration. It's not an excellent wine, but it's not as bad as they say it to be. So, you know, women usually prefer it because it has a light character to it. I prefer intensity, complexity, and more powerful and robust wine when it comes to red dry wine. Um, it has like a small sweetness on the aftertaste. So I have to rate it. I'm obliged to rate this wine. I'll give it. Let me think once more. Okay, it's not bad. So let's give it. Let's give it 78 out of 100. I must compare it to other Beaujolais and not generally compare it with dry wine that would not be fair so for a Beaujolais and a Beaujolais Novo is pretty good and that's all guys not much more to say about Beaujolais this is to be consumed every third Thursday of November as we said the wine labels usually tend to stand out with their colorful and uh, brightful notes on the label and uh, I guess I'll see you soon for pairing for the Beaujolais I would pretty much drink it on its own but if you want to pair it with food make sure it's light food maybe a salad and uh, that's all for today's video I hope you're well and I'll see you guys soon cheers